So I'll start, this is where I am today, uh, just an hour or so ago. Uh, this is the left wing. Um, made some good progress. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I had to uh, take a few days off to uh, work on some house projects. I'm trying to balance finishing up our renovation along with the build. Uh, so I did a day of priming. My wife helped me uh, peel a whole lot of plastic off of parts. Uh, I got those scrubbed up with uh, my multi-chemicals to get them ready for primer, and I sprayed the primer on them. I thought they, they turned out pretty good. I uh, also was able to get rid of the spar box because now it's extra. I have both spars and all the pieces out. Uh, so I cut it up and uh, kept a few little souvenirs. But uh, anyway, here's some clips from uh, during the week that I took. So I got all of the wing parts for the left wing assembled, the ribs I should say, and uh, these are all the left wing ribs. Uh, I got them all prepped, alodyned, you know, removed the plastic, deburred, uh, got everything alodyned, all the parts, and got them all assembled, except for rib number 10. Evidently, contrary to the label, this is a sling two part and not a TSI part. So it doesn't fit the whole pattern, although it's a very similar product until you look at it very carefully and it's slightly different. So I can't finish rib 10, which is I'm gonna have to wait for a replacement part, but I did get um, a few more parts uh, alodyned and prepped uh, and ready to go. And uh, I did uh, the rear spar, the stuff that'll fit in my alodyne tank. So I'm gonna have to uh, prime this with primer. And then of course the big long parts of the rear spar will have to be primed. So that'll be part of my next priming session when I do the top wing skin. Um, I flipped the wing back over so it's right side up and uh, I pulled uh, I pulled the harness that I have from Midwest Panel Builders. I haven't secured it yet, but uh, just about ready for that uh, for that step. And uh, I just got to prime the uh, prime the top skin along with, I'm going to go ahead and prime the top skins for the left wing and the bottom I've done part of, but I got to do the long, the long skin for the left bottom. So that's, uh, that's what I'm working on today and been working on for the last couple days. Penelope does not seem all that excited about my progress, uh, but I'm pretty happy. So this is just a video of me uh, countersinking the main spar. Uh, the uh, On the right wing, I actually felt like I went just a smidge too deep with my countersink. So I, uh, I adjusted my, my uh, drill stop just a little bit. Um, I felt like the skins were pulling just a little bit like I had gone too deep after spending a lot of time setting up uh, before I did the right wing. So this is the left wing. I uh, also used a little bit of oil. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, that's a popular machining thing when you cut metal. I haven't seen that anywhere in the sling that people use metal or use oil uh, when they're doing this. Uh, it sort of makes a mess, um, but I was able to clean it up really well with Simple Green. This is not going to be a painted part. It's going to be covered. So I don't think the oil, um, it, it really, I think it helps. I'm just using my DeWalt drill and some three-in-one oil. Um, I've read Bow, Bow Lube is a better product for this kind of thing. Um, but again, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't read anywhere, but it, it sure seems to make it cut better. And it's supposed to make your, your bits last multiple times longer. So uh, I went ahead and used some, some three-in-one oil. And uh, pretty happy with the progress. I, I took measurements with my little micrometer all along the way. Used my test rivet as I went down. And uh, I, I seem to be making the holes exactly like I would want to. We'll see when we do the skins if it, uh, if it looks perfect or not. But uh, I'm a novice. We're learning. So uh, here we go.